Good morning, everybody. I'm dressed, I've got makeup on. I feel so much different than I did yesterday. <laughs> um, and it just shows when you get some makeup on, you make yourself feel good. Even as, early, you know, what time are we on? Oh, half seven. It's not that early, is it? Um, but I got up and I got dressed and I put makeup on and I feel so much better than if I don't do that. So uh, even got the lipstick on, I took um, uh, some advice, well not advice, when I was watching Jenna the other morning doing a miracle morning, she had a red lippy on, she looked incredible. I was like, oh my God, I don't normally look like that in the morning, but there we are. So I thought, I'm gonna do it this morning. So hope you're all okay, feeling good, staying safe, looking after your children and yourselves and making sure you are feeling happy and upbeat. It is Wednesday, I think, um, and which means it's middle of the week. Um, and it means that we've been in this situation for a couple couple of weeks now, so you should be getting used to it. <clears throat> I must admit, it's it's not that different for for me because I've been working from home with Arvon for a long time now, and it isn't that different than when you just do Arvon working from home <laughs> because you are in. The benefits that you have is that you have people in the house with you, um, so that's a good thing. Uh, so, so yeah, anyway, so this morning, I'm going to go through a few things that I think are going to be really beneficial for you. I um, watched some training last night uh, called the GoPro World Tour, um, which obviously GoPro is Eric Worry. And on this training, there was um, a few different incredible speakers that and trainers that we all know and we've read books from and there's people like Bob Proctor, um, he, like, you might know him from The Secret, you might have heard him say some things from The Secret, he's also written a book, I can't think what it is right now, uh, Tony Robbins, like, oh my goodness, Tony Robbins is just insane, like, I, and I'm, I'm sure that this training is going to be put out there somewhere, so as soon as it is, if you didn't get a chance to get on, then we'll share it, because it's, it's so, some amazing crucial nuggets in there that we all have read and all have listened to, but it's all in, what, in, like, in one go. Um, so it's really, really um, inspirational. So if you get a chance to do that, but I'm just going to go through a few of the things that <laughs> that I um, um, took from it because I wrote loads of notes. But um, <clears throat> one thing I think that we um, is a really good way of thinking about what we're doing right now, okay? Because there's so many people in different situations. Everybody on this call will be in different situations. Um, it's not like everyone is sort of you know, off and getting money from their, their employer or whatever, or it's not like we're all national vice presidents on this call, so it's absolutely fine. And I think the, the time now that we have to be thinking about, yeah, we've got three months probably, I don't know, we, none of us know how long um, we've got, but use this time to focus on your business, which is probably what you're all doing because you're on the call today, 29 of you. Um, but use this time to absolutely focus on that because it's so crucial <coughs> excuse me, that we build, I mean, the thing that I absolutely loved that Eric Worre said was that we need to build a financial wall around your family. Like, that is so amazing. Like, just talking about that, talking about that to yourself every day in the mirror, I am building a financial wall around my family. At this moment in time, everybody needs security. Everyone wants to feel safe. Like, the only reason I haven't stepped out of my house from the last three weeks because I want to feel safe and I want my kids to feel safe. So there's going to be so many people feeling like that and probably on here as well. You want to be thinking, right, I'm going to be building this financial wall around my family for the future. Um, and it helped. And the other thing I, I loved is thinking about what you get paid now in your business. Like have a little think about what your paycheck is coming in this week from our one. Do you know even, like have you even looked at what you're gonna be getting paid? Or it could be that you're brand new and we always say, don't look at what you're getting paid when you're brand new, just like keep going. Oh, it's today, Lisa said. So if you're getting paid today, do you know what you're getting paid? And that is a reflection of how many people you are helping in the world. So the amount of money that you're getting paid today is a reflection of how many people you're, you're helping in the world. So do you need to up that ante? Do you need to help more people? Um, or are you quite happy with what you're getting at the minute? And I think when you think about it that way, it, it's like, oh my gosh, yeah. What are we doing? Like, There's so many people out there that need our help. We just have to do it in the right way. And we have to have compassion and we have to leave love. You know, we can't be going out there saying, right, you've got no job now, oh, here you go, 
um, I've got this, this, this is for you. We can't be doing that. We've got to lead with compassion. We've got to be um, the professional leaders that we are. And yeah, lead with love. Send the message with love. Like ask that person how they are. Like how's their family? What situation they're in at the minute? And see if there is a way that you can help them. Don't assume that, oh my God, I'm going to help this person. See if there is a way. Like be compassionate around what you know the situation that we're all in um and be that servant leader so we're here we're in we're in network marketing we're in argon because we want to serve people like everybody that comes into argon i personally think are either people who are um like teachers helpers leaders we're always people that want to help other people and I think everybody in this team is that way. Like every national vice president that I know or that I've seen, that I've heard of, are always people that want to teach other people. We're educators. We're not about um, how many lipsticks can we sell? How many QVs can we get? We're all about how, how can we educate people? And I think as soon as you switch that mindset to, oh my God, how many 30 day plans can I sell today? No, it's about how can you educate somebody on their health? How can you educate somebody on um, changing their mindset so they're not always thinking about the, the bad side? How can you educate people on understanding what network marketing is? We are network marketing um, ambassadors. We are people that understand it. We've educated ourselves. How many people don't understand network marketing that you hear all the time talking about? So be an ambassador of network marketing. It, educate people on it. And tell people about what it is, but understand it yourself first. So, like, make sure, or not, doesn't mean you can't speak to anyone, but just make sure that you are building those skills and use this time wisely to do that. Is there any of the um, GoPro skills that you don't know, sort of, or that you can brush up on? So, like, finding prospects, inviting, pre presenting. Um, if you mark yourself out at one and ten, out of one and ten, ten being you're amazing at it, one being oh, you, you know, not very good at the minute. Um, where would you be sitting if it was finding prospects, inviting, presenting, following up, closing, getting a new person started? Am I talking about quick here? Um, and promoting events. Which one of those things can you brush up on? And now is an amazing time to do that. You can go on to YouTube and you can type in Eric Worry and you can type in Eric Worry follow-up. And there's um, some incredible mini trainings on there that you can take loads from. So um, as soon as you feel confident you can educate yourself on all those, you'll be so, so your belief will be so sky high that you'll feel like I can educate everyone else. So as soon as you think to yourself, right, I'm an educator, I'm about helping other people, how am I going to educate people on this? Um, and that's all it is. That is really all it is. And I, and I think, you know, Bob Proctor was talking last night, okay? So Bob Proctor, he's an incredible man who's, you know, made a lot of money. And when he um, first heard about um, network marketing, first heard about, um, oh my gosh, my mind's gone black. Like, he, he wasn't in a really good place at all. He was in the 60s, I think, and there was a, wasn't a very good thing going on then where, where, he, where he was. And um, he needed something else to, to make himself better. And, you know, a lot of people are going to be feeling that way at the minute. And somebody reached out to him and said, read this book. And he said that book changed his life forever. I think it was the Napoleon Hill Think and Grow Rich book. So um, what, who could you, I mean, obviously you can't go and see somebody, but you could send somebody a book. You could send somebody something. You could send somebody a video that might change their lives. Who could you do that to? And it's about helping that one person at a time. You know, at the, you can feel a little bit overwhelmed. And I felt like that, you know, because I'm somebody who wants to help someone all people all the time. And I'm like, oh my God, I don't know where to start. Who, there's so many people that need kind of help now. So sometimes you can feel a bit overwhelmed. You bring that back and just say, right, I've just got to help one person today. Who am I going to help? Who am I going to help? And as soon as you switch that focus off you and on somebody else, um, it feels so good. You get that sort of warm, tingly feeling inside you instead of being in, totally in your own mind. Um, now, the one thing that I think is so important to remember is everybody, you know, so many people out there at the moment who are maybe losing their jobs and different things, you know, 
don't forget that a lot of people have an employee mindset. So we're really fortunate in this business that, that well, everybody that has come to the tech started with Arbon, we're really fortunate that we think differently. And be so proud of that, like, that you are not um, conforming. You are not saying, I've got sticking with the, with the rules. You know, you thought differently. You've heard something else that you understand now, and you know that it's a better way. You know that it is. But don't forget, so many people are going to have that employee mindset. They're going to be having that employee mindset. So, you know, when you're younger, you go to school, we get told what to do. And if you don't do as you're told, then there's things that will happen, you know. And, and we all have had that installed in us as well. But luckily, we've broken free. And you might be still working on it. And that's why we do so much personal development, you know. Um, but there's people out there that are starting from that beginning. So if you're over here and other people are over here, just remember, all you've got to do is help them move forward. So don't feel disheartened if they're not ready to hear it yet or if they're not ready to get going yet. Just think to yourself, you're that educator that's helping them to progress out of that conformity mindset and employee mindset. Read Rich Dad, Poor Dad and understand it, like properly understand it so that you can educate other people on it. Rich Dad, Poor Dad talks about um, the other ways of earning an income so that you're not just an employee or an employer. There's another way of earning an income, which is what we do in network marketing. So talking about the ways in which you can earn an income a different way, then um, understanding that yourself will help you to educate others and help people to switch over from an employee mindset to um, thinking about it differently. I mean, and also if you think about it at the moment, so many people are going back into jobs, aren't they? Into other jobs just because they need money. So going back to that employee mindset, is, so it's making sure we understand it completely so we can keep educating, so we can keep strong, so we can keep shining that light on other people and showing them, yeah, if you did want to have that mindset of an employer or you know, of having your own business, it is okay. Um, you just, there's another way. There's another way where you don't have to have your own heads, you don't have to have, be stuck somewhere. There's another way of investing, okay? Um, of earning money whilst you're not working. That is what we do, don't we? Obviously we work at the start, but then the, the, gay, the goal is to have a residual for how many coming in when you're not working. Um, so how are you staying connected with people? Have a little think, like how are you staying connected? Are you just sending them a message here and there? Um, how many people have you sent a message out to to ask how they are? Um, or are you just literally saying, look, you need to start this business now? Like what, well, how are you working it? Um, how are you staying connected? Think about your network. How big is your network at the minute? How many people have you got following you on Instagram? How many friends have you got on Facebook? Do you need to increase that? And how are you going to do it? There are so many trainings on how to increase your network. So find that training and do it. Like literally you've got time now to do it. Increase your network. I remember when um, I first started and I had like 200 friends on Facebook and I always had in my mind, I just wanna, I wanna have a thousand people I know on Facebook, I really want that. And it used to be in my mind all the time. And, you know, and I didn't just go and add, 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 add people. Um, I had me go out and speak to people and obviously you can't do that now, but there are ways that you can, you can increase it. And um, Samantha Reed was talking about it on some training um, the other day, I'm just trying to think where that training was. It might be on, on a weekly weekend, maybe. Um, we've seen so many trainings, haven't we? Um, and how you can think about like what you love, like what are your hobbies, what are your things that you absolutely love and get into a group like that on Facebook and connect with people that way. Okay, so think about your network and how many people you know, and then grow it. Like, how are you staying connected with those people? You've got to keep growing. Um, so my network on Facebook has increased massively. Like, when I look back now, oh my gosh, and it is just from being, networking on purpose and being a person that's been a friend to people, asking people how they are, you know, and just connecting like that. So um, I think it was a guy, Harvey McKay, um, he wrote the book Swim with the Sharks um, Without Getting Eaten Alive. I also wrote a book called, which I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to order because it looks good. Um, Dig Your Grave Before You're Thirsty. So um, it sounds very good. Anyway, he told a story. So his name was Harvey McKay, for those of you who are writing down. He told a story that there was a study 75 years ago. And the study showed um, people with, uh, well, I think they, 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 I can't remember how many people they, they um, studied now within the study but anyway but there is a good ending to it <laughs> so it's safer to it like this to be a thousand people for instance i don't know how many people it was and um out of all of those people the people that lived the longest were the people that wasn't the people that had like the medication wasn't the people that were always being healthy and running and stuff like that it was the people with the biggest community of friends like the biggest network of people and 
Um, and when you think about that, so like this was, he said it was like all different diseases, like cancers, like um, heart attacks, it's all different things. The people that didn't have all of those things were the people with the biggest networks because they were the people that were always staying in contact, giving back, like feeling love around people and had a really good mindset because of that. And I, so I absolutely love that story and I really want to look into it more in uh, more detail. So it just shows that our bond, okay, we're all about health from the inside out. We're all about connecting to a network and growing your network. So all of those things, we're all about mindset, we're all about um, nutrition as well. So all of those things put together means that we're going to have a really happy, healthy life. And who doesn't want that? Um, so just stay connected with people and think to yourself, right, my job is to stay connected, give love, shine my light, give positivity. So contact everybody in your phone book and ask how they are, whether that's phone call, message, whatever you normally do. And then be an educator not saying this is what you need to do, but keep that conversation going so that person feels good and so that you can help that person move from here to here and they'll be so grateful of that that in the next six months time, you know, it might not be now, but they'll remember you and they'll be like, oh my God, I so remember that Katie sent me that message and I'm really needing her at the minute. I'm watching her on Facebook. She's doing some amazing stuff. I'm going to come and speak to her and see what she's doing because I want to join her business. You know, so have a little think about that. Um, and go out and enjoy yourself today. Have a little smile on your face, put some colors on, put some makeup on, and enjoy it. Feel good and send some messages. So have fun, get some music on, and um, if you can run around your house, <laughs> run around your house, <laughs> get moving. So I hope that was helpful, everyone. And um, if I find that story about those people, um, I will share it for you. Um, lots of love, bye.